Network 7 has come to the northeast to investigate a new and disturbing trend that is sweeping through the old pit communities in the region. The problem is gang violence, and it's getting out of hand. The SNB are one of County Durham's most notorious gangs. They have been banned from some local towns by police and placed on a night curfew. The FCF have only formed in the past year. They got together as a gang, mainly to protect themselves from attack by the Spennymoor new breed. The Chilton Trojans are a skinhead gang with a longer tradition than the newer casual groups. Although they have fewer members, they have a tougher reputation. These little villages are catching up with the inner cities. There are gangs around here with calling cards and names like the Spennymoor New Breed and the Ferry Hill Casual Force. <laughs> Listen, the important thing is we're all brothers under the skin, right? Brothers under the skin. It's not enough. Is it based on where you come from? If we stick up for the residents around here, if somebody does something bad to all people around here, they get it. We expect it, don't you, on a weekend? I know, do Everybody goes out and get drunk, or the last or have a fight, it's just all the same. Yeah, they can't for lasses, so yeah, they go out to fight. That's all That's all the fight in the Saturday night is through, are you? There's been all sorts. Just standing knives. Standing knives. Mostly standing knives, that's yeah. Baseball bats, truncheons, sticks. Cut up razors. Hey. All sorts. Wait, I took a knife to the when we fought down like, and nobody gets it out. There's a lot of stabbings and that, and a few bottles and glasses and all that. Now, if you go in the pubs and that, you're going to get glassed. When it came through the other day, there was I spoke to a couple of lads who said that you even sometimes use calling cards. No, no, no. Yeah. Why? We never did. We, we had just pop them in the mouth once you do them. What, you had 30 printers? <laughs> just stick them in the slit <laughs> in the side of the head. <laughs> um, what, were the, what did the cards say? It said, congratulations, you've just been <laughs> done by spending money you're waiting the fives. Number one, uh, number, number, number one crew. And how would you use those? It's just, like, when you do, someone just gives them it. Just leave it on top of them when they lay there in a heap. He came back with a, a blade between his knuckles. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realise at the time, but when he was coming, he was just, he wasn't hitting us. He was just mauling us, and like we were just scuffling about, and and then it, uh, I got him in a headlock, and all I felt is that on my leg, on my right leg, just like a finger going down. And I looked down, my trousers were ripped to shreds. And I knew we had a knife. I says, you got a knife, you bastard. And I pushed him away. And he just says, you're a gunner. And uh, when I got that spill, I had my, my neck, and that one there, <coughs> my face, my chin, and I had some on my stomach, my arms, my legs. I'm not the only one. It happens every week down there. Who, who else? I mean, what, what else has happened to other people? Uh, people from... West Cornford, they've had a lad got a pavement stone cracked off his head. Uh, there's a lad called Belly from Free Hill. He got glassed. A few of my mates got threatened by the Spanish lads with uh, knives. It's all sorts. Identified a group of 15 news from an outlying village who yeah. um, seemed to be intent on causing trouble. As a result of that, the licensing unit split up. What, into two sections? Uh, into two sections, followed yeah. them round the city, and we've, we've put pub watch into operation, which has effectively barred their entry wherever they are into all the licensed premises. That's assuming that they can identify them, and that's also assuming that they don't split into smaller groups. Yeah. 
you know which village they're from, or is it just... It's, we believe they're from Spennymoor. And... How do you think it's going to go in the future? Where you... It's just going to get killed, isn't it? It's, it's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's getting 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 worse. Look, you're all here now. Can I just ask you? You're all, you're all here now. Can I just ask you? Hey, mate, do you want to just, just be quiet just a second? Can I just ask you one question. Can I just ask you, ask you yeah. one question? What do you think we, they could do about it? The police are here, you're here. What could be done about it for the future? About what? About the problem with violence. About the problem with violence? Nothing. No, if there's, there's, there's lads there fighting, it's the gone out of hand. No. If there's lads there fighting, the police have to be in. It's gone. That's the end of it. I mean, if we, if we just let it go wild, then it'll just be hell all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Winners will be put out, well, battles will be out. The one thing that is absolutely clear the more that you go into this is that this is not just a County Durham problem, it's not just a North East problem, it's a nationwide problem. That what used to be thought of as something that just happened within the inner cities is now happening in the cities and villages around the country. You're talking about me, baby. All over town. You've been talking about me, baby. And I'm putting me down. Now, Carol, you have 150 seconds to answer these questions. Now, to Powell tonight are playing the uh, Prince of Wales pop concert at the Royal Albert Hall. That's right. Do you not regret, in a way, that it's now become...